Facebook Live, we have arrived. Let's get it in, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the early What I See Team Script Study and Prayer Line on the seventh day in December 2018. Hallelujah. <clears throat> let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's go, let's go to Hebrews this morning. Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10. And I know a, a cult, a reader B is going to put up the Hebrew, the true name of the book of uh, Hebrews. We can trust her. Hallelujah. To do that. Hebrews 10 and 26. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's get deep today. So when no further ado, we're gonna get it in. I love y'all. Shalom, uh, Nicole, uh, Nicole Rita B, and uh, all you beautiful people that's on this morning. I don't know where Steel Wheel is. Uh, I don't see him as of yet. JB, good to see you on, man. You starting to become a, a regular, bruh, bruh. That's a good thing, man. Love you, man. You messing around and becoming a regular around here. <laughs> um, Hebrews 10 and 26. Look what it say, y'all. It say, for if we willfully... For if we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, right? That's a good thing, man. We all learning together, family. But look at this. We, we're going to kill this Catholicism some more this morning, right? Look what it say. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. If we, if we, if we sin willfully, right? After receiving the knowledge of the truth. Now, the, the key... Here that we'll focus on is after receiving the knowledge of the truth. I mean, what what excuse could we have when we were uh, every um, ten twenty six in the sea for y'all? But listen to this: <clears throat> when we we're in darkness, we was in sin. We kind of felt we had a relationship with who we called God at that time, right? We felt we had a relationship with him, but we didn't know what to do. We didn't know how to live this thing. And so at the appointed time, the true word came to us and woke us up. Still will. Glad to see you in, man. The true word came to us and woke us up, right? Now, the key is the true word came and woke us up. We heard the true, what they call the gospel. We heard the truth of the word, right? And we admitted our wrong. And we said, you know what? We're wrong. And, and, and we're going to stop being wrong. I want a relationship with the Most High. I belong to him. That, that was the confession. That was the testimony. That's that Romans 10 and 9 thing. If we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that Yah's raised Yahushua, raised Yahushua from the dead, we shall be saved. For with the mouth confession they made unto uh, 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 salvation, and with, and with the heart one believeth unto righteousness, right? So we're saved. We accepted him. We admitted our wrong, and we accepted him. After that, you heard a saying, if you know better, you do better. If you knew better, you do better, right? For if we willful, if we sin willfully, if we sin willfully, after that we received the knowledge of the truth, then you heck a disrespectful. Have you ever been in a situation where he told you what to do and you didn't do it? And have you ever just looked at yourself? I'm talking about in the mirror of the word and looked at how evil that was. That that state of mind. To whereas you're going to do what you want to do irregardless of what he say. And you're abiding in that state of mind because you want to do something that you want to do. A lot of people have done that. But have you ever stopped and looked at how evil that is? You're exalting yourself 
with the Most High. You're exalting yourself against them. Arms too short to box with Yah, y'all. But that that witchcraft, that that spirit of rebellion. You know what to do, but that spirit overtake you. That wickedness, that carnal, that carnal mind, that stinking thinking. For if we sin willfully, he said, don't do it. And you say, I'm going to do it anyway. For if we sin willfully, after that we receive the knowledge, you know better. See, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. You know better. And you're going to do it anyway? Do you know what a satanic operation the devil has done onto the Most High's children and the world to cause them to exalt their will over Yah's will knowingly? Come on, knowing, I know better. But 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 it feels so good to me. It soothes my nerves. It 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 I just ain't gonna do it. I'm just I'm just gonna uh uh enough is enough. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't care what y'all say. Do you know how wicked that is? The creator of all. You must don't know him too well. We couldn't know him too well to do that. We'd be running around. Oh, uh, scared of some of these killers running around here. Some of us shaking in our boots at the Ashkenazi Jew, knowing how heartless and evil and devilish and satanic and Luciferian they are. The bully, the bully, uh, 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 the bully Hebrew running around here. A bully. We scared of them because they'll kill you. Stuff you in the trunk and all that type. We be scared. And you ain't scared of y'all? Then you must don't know him too well. You couldn't. For if we sin willfully, Catholicism, a false doctrine, will render you a moron. Will render you an idiot. Will render you a fool. Like the serpent rendered Eve a fool. Telling her you should not surely die. And she bit. Rendered Adam a fool rolling with his wife. And the punishment was severe. Y'all wasn't playing. The day they ate thereof, they died. That day, because a thousand years is as a day on the yard. And the day they ate thereof, no man lived to be a thousand years old. Because that's one day to yard. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Okay, now what he supposed to do for you? He, you are lost out there in the world doing you. You are lost out there in the world, in the church world, <laughs> doing you. So the truth came and snatched you out of Catholicism, out of that fake religious, satanic, paganistic, polytheistic church world. Snatch you out of it. Scales fall off your eyes. Now you know better. And you still going to act like that? For if we sin willfully after that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. You not only receive the truth, you receive the knowledge of it. You know better. Romans, the first chapter, for this cause, he'll darken their foolish hearts. Their foolish hearts was darkened. And he'll give them over to do that which is inconvenient. He'll give people over to do them because... Instead of enduring temptation, they gave in to it. They sided with their evil flesh. I want to sleep with them. I want to be with them even though we're unequally yoked together. I want to do this. I got it. Okay. But Catholicism, if the devil can penetrate and get you to believe you're just a sinner saved by grace, that we're only human, ain't nobody perfect, then when it get hard, you're going to sin willfully. On some Jesus did it all. On some, I got the can't help it. You got, you got the, you got the help it's. You ain't got the can't help it's. You're claiming the can't help it's because of false doctrine. Because the devil is slick enough to convince a person that they can do them and y'all gonna forgive them. So you operate in premeditated sin, sinning willfully 
after receiving the knowledge that you're wrong. After receiving the knowledge of the Most High, I say, don't do that. Leave them alone. Don't call them. Don't talk to them like that. After, after receiving the knowledge. You know it ain't cool. We get so rebellious. Once we get to roll and we can't stop. Yeah, you can stop. You just don't want to. Your pride don't want to. You don't want to look like an idiot in front of people. You'd rather please a people than Yah. You get caught up in talking some junk you ain't supposed to, and he tell you to shut your mouth, and you keep on going. You messed around. Now you siding with your anger. Now you siding with your feelings. Now you siding. You now you all emo, right? You emotional, right? And people, you people know better than to play with me, but you don't know uh, better than to play with Yah. For if we sin willfully, oh, so you're going to do it anyway? Oh, you don't believe fat meat is greasy. Y'all remember that? Okay, it's greasy. Uh, keep chewing. It's greasy. Grease going to be everywhere in a couple more minutes. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, what can he do for you? There remains no more sacrifice for sins. He did all what he going to do concerning that. But a certain fearful looking for judgment and fiery indignation. This is Yah's response to that. A certain fearful. Moses at the, uh, at the mount in the wilderness, he said, I exceedingly quake. Yah was just talking. He didn't, even, he didn't even start swinging or nothing. But if you touch that mountain, you died. Any person or any animal touched that mountain when he was talking was done. And his voice sounded like a uh, thunder and lightning. It was, it was, it, it, was, it sounded like thunder. It was, it quaked. It, it, Mo, 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 Moses was so scared he didn't know what to do. The people said, I don't want to talk to him no more. Let him talk to you, Mose. Mose, you talk to him. Right? But a certain fearful looking for of judgment, oh, the judgment is coming, and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. If we willingly turn ourselves into adversaries because we want a man, because we want to be our with our spouse, so we'll leave Yah for our spouse. We'll, we'll, we'll leave uh, Yah for our husband or our wife, right? We'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave Yah because we want to get high. He tell you to quit smoking, quit cussing, quit. He, he tell us what to do, but we let the wickedness in our flesh, the cravings of our flesh, cause us to do what's wrong. And it's easier to d be deceived into doing what's wrong when you sit up on a false doctrine. When you sit up on a false doctrine and everyone in the room is doing it and it's part of the doctrine, it's part of the teaching, your pastor has been bit by the serpent that told Eve, thou shalt not surely die, and that's a lie. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. She died, Adam died, all of mankind died, and you're going to die if you're playing with him after receiving the knowledge of the truth. Who's going to be humble enough to do what he say and obey? It regards to how you feel. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. You feel some kind of way, but you bless when you endure it and don't give in to how you feel about it and do what he told you to do about it. Because his response, let's read his response. But a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries. You want to be adversarial to Yah? You going to do you in regards to what he say? Ooh, ooh. Look what he telling you. 28th verse. He that despised Mosaic's law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Okay, now, Mosaic law was just to show people that they're guilty because the law was added because of transgressions. There wasn't no law dealing with Abraham because he obeyed the Most High. And he got his seed blessed. So now here come the seed. They didn't act like Moses. They didn't obey. I mean, they didn't act like Abraham. They didn't obey. They, they did not obey, so the law came through Moses. Since the seed of Abraham did not act like Abraham, a Abraham obeyed. Since the seed did not obey like Abraham did, then the Most High sent the law 430 years later uh, through Moses to show them that you're out of pocket. When the, when the law came on the scene to prove a person was wrong, and they did the wrong anyway. They died without mercy. Kill them. <clears throat> they stoned jokers to death. Kill them. They're wicked. 
Y'all ain't nobody to play with. Killed him. Y'all wouldn't do that. I keep telling you, he drowned the whole world except for five people. Why don't you study your word and get out of that Catholicized state of mind, that pampering, uh, evil state of mind that the serpent started in the beginning when he said, thou shalt not surely die. That evil state of mind, he said, don't do it. Don't eat of the tree. The serpent talked her into it and said, oh, he ain't going to do that. He loved. Well, he did it. And you can run around here up under the fluids of your past if you want to, under that Catholicized, fake, lying crap that allows you to continue to get drunk, continue to smoke, continue to screw them, continue to cuss them out, and still go to church and still be a good old usher. You're an usher. You're on an usher board. Huh? You're in the choir. You're directing the choir. Oh, you're on the drums, baby. Up under the influence of that lie. Like, like serving y'all as a big old concert, a big old social club, and you keep it in order. Instruction and it's order. Baby, you can't sit right there. Sit over here. You think that's having a relationship with him? Well, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy. No mercy. Kill him. No mercy. I'm sorry. Shut up. Kill him. Without mercy. Under two or three witnesses, you had folks standing there watching to make sure. Nah, they still breathing. Hit them with another rock. Because you're wicked. Because Yah chose you to be his children and you're going against it. He should have killed everybody. He regretted making man. He was ready to kill everybody. But he, he, he found uh, Abraham uh, and, and Abraham believed him. And he said, okay, I can work through this bloodline. And in the bloodline tripping. And when they start tripping, he said, kill them. I was going to kill everybody anyway. They entered into agreement with, it, agreement with me, and they took it back. That's why the word says, better not to make a vow than to make one and break it. Look, 29th verse. Of how much more sore punishment. I'm preaching to y'all. Listen, y'all comes to interrupt your life and cause you to do right. Period. He's trying to rescue you from you, and death is real, and the punishment is real. So yeah, he will interrupt your whole entire life, the, 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 the course of your life, because you're headed towards death. 29th first. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye shall he be thought worthy, ask you to think about it. This is a question. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, question, right? Think about it. Shall he be thought worthy, who have trodden under the foot, the son of Yah, you know who the Mashiach is, but you stepped on him. Like, I, I don't care what he did for me, right? And have counted the blood of the covenant, the covenant that we entered in, the signature was with his blood. He got the beard snatched out of his face. He got beat down. He got tortured. You can't enter into a will and testament without the death of the tester. He was the tester. The will is applicable to the family after the person that wrote the will dies. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. He wrote, he wrote the will. He's the author. Then he died. His blood was spilt. The blood of the covenant wherewith we were sanctified. What set you aside and enabled you to be called his children is the fact that he did that for you. He, paid, he bought you, you've been bought with a price. He, he bought you with his blood. He was tortured. We were healed through his stripes. They whipped him and beat him. They spit on him. But who for the joy that was set before him, the joy of rescuing us, the joy of, of, of pleasing the father, he endured it. And have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified. We're a new creation because of what he did. We were an unholy thing and have done despite unto the spirit of grace. That's why like fake church tell you that grace is like you get to go to heaven even though you're scandalous as heck. Then you wouldn't be able to do despite unto it. This is saying you're not going. This is saying he going to get you. Catholicism, fake church, these fake preachers riding these Cadillacs and stuff, preaching that fake satanic stuff. That, that our enemies fed to us after they kidnapped us and shipped us into slavery? Well, Israel waking up now to the false doctrine 
the false hella days, or they call them holidays. We're waking up to all that. And now the Gentiles can be baptized into Abraham for real. Because the true Yahudim, the true Jews, are taking charge now. He's waking us up. The scales is falling off our eye, and we're preaching it the way it's supposed to be preached now. We're not Catholicized no more. We're not Catholics. Universal religion mixed with all that crap. Serapis. We're not, we're, we're, not, we're not under that influence no more. Right? We're dealing with the true grace, the power to stop sinning. Come on, somebody. Of how much more sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought worthy, who have trod under the foot the Son of Yah, and have counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified, an unholy thing, and have done despite unto the Spirit of grace. For we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth to me. He said, I'm going to get you. Vengeance belongeth to me. I'll recompense. Normally when we say uh, vengeance is his, we be talking about somebody else. No, he's talking about you. You who w sin willfully after receiving the knowledge of the truth, thinking you're getting away with it. How did, how, how did the, bed, the mattress feel? What, did it feel good when you was in the bed with them? Did you orgasm? Did you, did you climax? Did you get it? You, you got it? You got it in? You thought you got away with it? You didn't know a certain fearful looking for judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries? Did you know that? Did you know that's a comparison analysis that he that died of uh, going against Moses' law, died without mercy? And then there was a comparison analysis to that death to how much more sort of punishment so suppose ye shall he be thought worthy of who have trodden underfoot the son of Yah and have counted the blood of the covenant where he was sanctified, used to be saved, used to obey him. Or did you ever? Did you ever obey him? Well, then, then maybe this is your first time hearing the truth on this level. So now it's time to quit playing with him. You can't let the spirit of rebellion overtake you and you're going to do it your way. You can do the right thing the wrong way. I can do it when I get ready. Okay. He said, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. There's something in the heavenlies working and you don't even see it coming. If you think you can do your, you, you ain't no, you can't, you don't, you don't, okay. You don't want to play with y'all. I, I've watched people. I love shipwreck. I'm talking about, I'm talking, I watch people I love that I ministered with, ministered to, ministered with. I've watched people that's supposed to have a relationship with him and they cross him up. And when the paycheck come, it be severe with no mercy. No, don't start hollering now. He'll 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 proverb the first chapter. He'll laugh when your calamity come. You with none of my reproof. I was trying to correct you. I was trying to talk to you, huh? You don't want to hear it? Okay, stay wicked. Stay doing. Oh yeah, no, you religious. Do you? Read. You better read Romans the first chapter. He turning folks over to reprobate minds. You don't want this? That's cool. How much more sore punch me? You think I'm gonna turn you over? I'm going to give you to you. Get get in the bed. Turn on me for your man. Yeah. Turn on me for your woman. Do the Adam. He turned on Yah for his, for his woman. Now check this out. Watch what's going to happen now. Your whole life going to change. How your life was, it ain't going to be like that no more. See, folks don't tell you that. Oh, Jesus just loves you. Oh, that rugged cross. Lift up your Bible. This is your Bible. Repeat after me. Man, this ain't this ain't romper room. This ain't what's the what's that dude in the neighborhood? Somebody type that cat name, that friendly dude in the doggone neighborhood. There ain't no puppets running around here. This stuff is real out here. Sit up there thinking uh, uh being saved is, is becoming a good musician and singing. You better sit down somewhere. He don't want to hear that junk. Not coming from you. <laughs> And have done spite to the spirit of grace. For we know that, that, that him that have said, vengeance belongs to me, I'm going to kick your behind, saith Yah. And again, Yah shall judge his people. Didn't I tell you talking about his people? Folks thinking, that, that, Mr. Rogers, there it is, thank you. 
folk, folks thinking, folk, 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 folks think, oh, 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 vengeance is his. He going to recompense. He's talking about your scandalous church going behind. <laughs> you looking across the room at somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Touch not his uh, prophet and do his, uh, uh, touch not his anointed and do his prophet no harm. You looking at the other folks. Now he looking at you. He said, I'm, vengeance is mine. I'm going to judge my people. I'm going to get you because you thought you can go to church. You're a sinner saved by grace, so you're going to continue screwing. You're going to continue cussing. You're going to continue lying. You're going to get it right when you get ready. <laughs> I do it when I get ready. He just going to have to deal. I'm still a work in progress. Okay, that's cool. Well, check this progress. There's something else in progress. The process is already kicked off based on your stubbornness and that spirit of witchcraft that won't allow you to bow down to what the heck he told you to do. He didn't say do it. I, your kids tell you, come here. I'll come tomorrow. Huh? I'll break both your doggone legs. You ain't going to be able to come tomorrow. I'm going to have to scoot you around in a chair. Joker. Better get your butt over here. And don't touch my icebox either, Joker. And sleep on the floor. You can't get in my bed. You end up naked. I bought them doggone pajamas. To me, I come when I get ready. Sin willfully. Your stubbornness didn't grab you. If your stubbornness arise up, that's what you need to kill. Pump your brakes and kill it. Don't take another step. Don't say nothing. That you, don't write a check that you're behind. Can't cash. Shut your face and repent before you run, you run your mouth and get yourself in some trouble. That's going to manifest in your life. And when it manifests in your life, you ain't going to like it. The Most High got me on one, Pastor Gillette. Pray for me. For we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, says Adonai. And again, Adonai shall judge his people. And look what he said in the 31st verse, right? He said, It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living Elohim. Keeping in this proper context, he's talking to his children. He wasn't talking about the world. He's not talking about those that go against his prophet <laughs> do, and touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. I'll be seeing some wicked fake church people say that. <laughs> it be like, are you serious right now? You playing, right? <laughs> Aren't you playing? Oh, no, don't tell me the delusion got you. For if we sin willfully, that spirit of rebellion, rebelliousness will try to take your head off. And what helps it is Catholicism, false doctrine, that you believe it in your head. You're just a sinner saved by grace. Ain't nobody perfect. You got that garbage in your head. That's your exit strategy to do what the heck you want to do whenever you feel like doing it. When you really want to do it real bad, see, we give up certain things. But that stuff we really want to do, oh, we just human. We're only human now. It ain't greater as he that's in me than he that's in the world no more, right? It, it's, it's, man, ain't nobody perfect. You perfect? Now they want to play all them old dumb games. Oh, I, you, know, you ain't ever sinned? Okay. I, why would I argue with you about that? Y'all say he going to get you. Better humble yourself before the mighty hand uh, uh, Elohim and quit playing. Because he's our Eloheinu. <laughs> For if we willfully sin after we have received the knowledge of the truth, you know better. If you know better, you should do better. If you knew better, you should do better. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. Ain't nothing I can do for you but get you now. And, I, and that should get you worse. It's, that, it, it's better to have not known the way than to have known it and turn from it. You mean to tell me you came up to me, you got to know me, and I showed it to you, and you still going to do the fool? You got a problem. And if you think that you can put y'all off, oh, I'm going to stop cussing next Tuesday. Well, six years worth of Tuesdays passed and you're still cussing because you wasn't granted repentance. 
because you think it's on your terms and you think you can rebel against Yah and tell him how you're going to do it. He said, today you hear my voice, hard, not your heart. Get out of the bed with them right now. After I smoke this carton, cost me too much money, then I'm going to quit. You notice you ain't never quit? Because he ain't granting you repentance because you got the game twisted. You better repent and quit playing with him because it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living Elohim. Any questions? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble to know how sin in your word with clarity, falling down the souls of your children. He did have an ear to hear. Let him hear what the Ruah is saying to the Ecclesia. We're speaking loud to this your children that you might save us and rescue us. Can those dry bones live? The answer is yes. We must repent. And when you give us revelation, we must appreciate what you have done and have an attitude of gratitude. We must humble ourselves before the, your mighty hand. We need you desperately. We're asking, please forgive us for our sins. Grant us the spirit of repentance and we'll turn from our wicked ways. And then will we tell folks of your goodness. Then we will show forth the praise of him that has called us out of the darkness into the marvelous light. We're dependent on you. We love you. And again, grant us repentance. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all man. My grandma used to say, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <clears throat> he loves y'all. He loves me too. And uh, we need to not take him, take him for granted. Uh, bless you, Jeff. Yeah, he, he trying to save us. He talking to me too. I can't play with him. None of us can't. And I've watched people become religious and play with him, pretending like they, you know, clean and they filthy. See, this is real talk. When he tell you to stop doing something, he gave you the anointing to do it. In him saying, just like Peter, when Peter was in the boat and he said to the Mashiach, when the Mashiach was walking on the water, he said, if it be you, bid me to come. He said, come. When he said come, the power to walk on the water was inside of the come. When he tell you to stop doing something, the power to stop doing it is in him telling you to stop. The word is went out of his mouth and will not return on him void, but will accomplish what he pleased. And it pleased him so were you to be able to stop or to come. If you reject the come or the stop doing that, saying that you're going to do it next Tuesday, when next Tuesday come, don't be surprised when you can't do it. Don't play with him. If the lesson blessed you, push the share button. Because it will bless somebody else too. And it will cause them to walk in the spirit of truth. And the power of change that only comes from the most high. Push the share button. If this ministry is a blessing to you, support it. The word teaches, if I sow unto you uh, carnal things, it's so much that you sow. If I sow unto you spiritual things, it's so much that you sow carnally. It's, real talk, muzzle not the mouth of him to tread out the corn. If the ministry bless you and you're a regular and you're part of the ministry or whatever, then sow into the ministry. I got a cash app now. Those of you that have my phone number, all you got to do, you can sow through the cash app. Just look me up by my phone number and sow. Or you can go to PayPal. Put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N 5857 at Yahoo.com. And um, if y'all want to chop it up, I'm going to be multitasking as usual, but we got a bunch of saints on here, and we just chop it up about the word. If you want to get in, get your commentary in the word, share with us what you got out of the word, it's a beautiful thing. Trend to love you, young lady. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302 302- 202-1102 extension 815648. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.